Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Choctopus. Decided to take a break from the usual gameplay content today for a discussion based on some behind-the-scenes things that Sakurai has shed some light on in recent Smash interviews. And apologies if the audio quality is not quite up to par with my usual stuff. Uh, I'm currently recording this on the go, so I don't have my usual setup. I think the biggest piece of news is Sakurai is talking about Incineroar's inclusion in Smash Ultimate and how Litten's final evolution from Sun and Moon almost didn't make the cut. Ultimate Ultimately, haha, get it? <laughs> it came down to Incineroar and Decidueye as the final two when choosing a new Pokemon for the game. Now, logically, we've had some new or remade Pokemon games come out in between Smash 4 and Ultimate, so it's only fitting for Nintendo to want to promote some of them. Personally, as a Rowlet starter, I'm disappointed that Decidueye didn't make the cut, but in hindsight, Incineroar definitely seems like a better choice with the whole professional wrestling moveset. And not to say that Decidueye couldn't have had a great kit for Smash. I mean, look at Pokémon Tournament DX, another game that I've played to death where Decidueye did make an appearance and was actually a lot of fun to use. But as far as Smash goes, I've been playing a little bit of Incineroar and I haven't really taken that deep dive yet, but I'm looking forward to using him because he looks like a lot of fun and I'm hoping that the remaining DLC characters can bring something interesting and unique the way Incineroar has. But let me know in the comments section below, what do you think about Incineroar's inclusion over Decidueye? Would you have preferred Decidueye in the game or a different Sun and Moon Pokemon completely? In the same interview, Sakurai spoke about the lack of arms and more Xenoblade characters, which came down to Ultimate's project plan having to be finalized way too far in advance. Now, I haven't played Xenoblade, at least not yet, but I know a lot of people were disappointed that more characters weren't added, only to then be given a Rex Me costume as a consolation prize. As for ARMS, I was predicting that we would see Springman and Ribbon Girl, or at least one of the two as a playable character right after Ultimate was announced, because they seemed like they would be a great fit, but that didn't come to fruition. Springman does make an appearance as an assist trophy and Ribbon Girl as a Me costume, so at least there's some recognition, but I feel like Prior to ARMS's release, there was a lot of promo coming from Nintendo and even a lot of support coming afterwards with all the added characters and events they had going on, so it's a shame to see that it kind of died on the vine. And I won't claim to know anything about the development cycle of a game, but I can't help but to feel like Nintendo knew pretty far in advance that ARMS and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 we're going to be in development the same time as Smash. Sakurai also confirmed that the addition of Richter, Simon, King K. Rule, and Ridley were aided by the Wii U fan ballot, but I think everyone already knew that. It just becomes a question of will that ballot continue to play into the remaining DLC roster spots? And we don't have that data readily available, but Joker seems to have been requested by a lot of people. Unfortunately, we won't know Nintendo's true intentions until the next DLC fighter is revealed. Lastly, we are nearing the release of Piranha Plant, which I'm insanely excited about. I don't know about you guys, but we don't have an official announcement yet, but I'm predicting the following. One, we will either get a quick announcement via Nintendo's Twitter, something along the lines of, hey, Piranha Plant's coming out next week, or it's coming out now, or here's the release date, or there will be an announced direct coming next week or the first week of February, and I think Nintendo has a lot more to clear up than just the release of Piranha Plant, so I'm hoping that's the case. However, the Amiibo's official release date is on the 15th, so I think it's safe to say the character will drop either a day of, if not before. But like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below regarding all the topics. You know, what do you think about Incineroar making it over Decidueye? Are you upset over the lack of arms representation or Xenoblade Chronicles 2? And when do you think we will be seeing more information on Piranha Plant and Joker? But that's all for today. Just wanted to cover some quick news, but the next video will be another character breakdown on Friday. This one came in highly requested after I dropped Lucas last week, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Be sure to drop a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit the sub button for more Smash and Nintendo content. As always, thank you so much for all your support. I have some cool announcements coming when we hit 20k subs, which will hopefully, fingers crossed, be in the next couple days. If you'd like, go follow me on Twitch and Twitter as well. I have a Discord channel too if you want more daily interactions, or if you just want to come hang with the community and play some games. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.